wrapped up like a baby in a diaper. Mmm, -mm. Asian burrito. Now, it is said that if you come to Beijing, there are two things that you definitely must try. The first is to climb the Great Wall of China, and the other is to try the infamous Peking duck, said to be made for kings and queens of ancient China. The Peking duck is known for its crispy waffle-like skin and its tender succulent meat. And since it's made for the royal family, it's gonna be on the pricier side of things. But since we're already in Beijing, we had to give it a go and see if it's worth the price. Oh, uh, I guess we'll give the Great Wall a miss. Uh, yeah, we'll give the Great Wall a miss. There are many restaurants that serve the Peking duck in Beijing, but the most popular one is Quan Ji De. And of course, with fame comes at a higher price tag. But I'm no crazy rich Asian, so I'll just settle for something simple. By the way, we had to call in advance to reserve the duck. So it kind of tells you that the dish is prepared only after an order is made, sort of to ensure the quality of the duck. The dish cost about 230 yuan here, which is roughly 35 US dollars. And that doesn't sound much, but if you put things into perspective, the average meal in Beijing here costs about 24 to 25 yuan, and that's roughly four dollars. So if you think about it, the duck itself costs about eight to nine times of the average meal here, which is why most locals don't eat the duck anymore or they rarely eat it, unless it's a special occasion. But that being said, it's after all given the name of the capital of China. So it must amount to something. Well, we're here to find out if it's worth the price and the taste. The dish is served like no other duck. First, you have the skin on its own. I think it comes from the breast of the duck, also, you'll be served the standard cut of duck with the skin on the tantalizing meat. So essentially, the Peking duck, it's all about the skin. It will either break or make the duck. So I'm going to try it first. <laughs> Waffle like thin. I'm struggling to speak because um, the fat and the grease is making me salivate. It's a very complicated texture and taste. At the beginning, it feels like you're eating an oily, crispy waffle, and then it starts to disintegrate and breaks down in your tongue. So it's kind of like candy floss, like it just disintegrates in your mouth. But to be honest, it really doesn't taste of much, just oil and a bit of duck fat. Now I'm going to try the duck meat with the skin and see if it tastes a lot better. I'm just going to try it without any sauce or dipping. I mean like the skin is so firm and it holds the fat and the grease underneath so when you bite it it's like tuk, 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 like the explosion of umami in your mouth and it coats the succulent meat oh talking about the meat so moist so tender but it still has that bite of meat to it so crazy delicious my god <laughs> because the Peking duck is all about the fat and the skin it kind of gets a bit too greasy and oily after a while so you must eat it with the side dishes and the Peking duck usually comes with a few side dishes like spring onions, cucumber, hoisin sauce or soy sauce, and the wrapping skin. But at some restaurants, you also get special things like pickled vegetables and root vegetables. But now, the wife will show you how to prepare the Peking duck proper. Okay, now it's my turn. Asian burrito.
Oh yeah, that's that's definitely the right way of eating the Peking duck. The crispiness of the skin, the juiciness, the tenderness of the meat. Oh yeah, baby. In all honesty, the texture, flavor, and the umami of the duck, it's it's crazy delicious, like out of this world delicious. But to pay $35 for it, I'm not sure if it's really worth it for me. Because if you think about it, essentially the Peking duck it's more of fat and skin in comparison to the meat. So you're paying $35 for essentially a plate of grease. So I'm really not sure if it's worth the price, but the taste-wise, out of this world. If it is your first time here in Beijing, do give it a shot since it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to dine like an emperor. But that being said, there is another way to deal with the greasiness. Since we're having dark meat, let's have some dark beer. Get it? Dark beer? That was a big fail. Like after they finish preparing the duck, you can actually select to have the duck, the bones, the carcass to be boiled in a soup or you know deep fried so you can eat it. Or and and that sort of costs about eighteen dollars, eighteen yuan. I mean, um, but I didn't want to pay, so I said no. But what I didn't know that is you can um, actually get the carcass to be wrapped up and take away, so you can bring the carcass back home, so you can use it to boil soup or pretty much anything um, but I didn't know that so it just took away my duck and the bones <sighs> well what can I do anyway we haven't done this in a while so here's a special b-roll just for you guys well thanks for sticking around I hope you've enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you guys think if the Peking duck is worth the price but for now that's the end of the video have a great one and don't forget to subscribe and stay so thirsty.